Hey guys, Happy New Year. Welcome to my channel. I'm going to start a new series on WordPress tips and tricks. Uh, these will hopefully be short, um, around uh, beginner to intermediate to expert level tips that um, I've learned uh, over the years and that I'd like to share. So I hope you find them useful and uh, without further ado, let's get started. All right, well, let's get started with this tutorial. I have here a vanilla basic WordPress install that I will be using for this demo. Let's go ahead and head on over to the plugins area and let's add a plugin that requires a Google API key. I'm going to use a maps plugin, but you could uh, uh, easily use anything else that um, any other plugin that connects to any one of the Google's uh, services. Uh, I'll pick the very first one. The process of adding the API key should be same or similar uh, for any of these plugins, which is basically going on to the Google Developers Console, creating a project and generating an API key and pasting that API key inside the plugins um, settings area. So let's go ahead and hit install for this plugin and I will activate it and let's head on over to its settings page. And as you'll see here, it needs a Google API key. So let's go ahead and create one. So the process of creating one is, uh, well, clicking on that took me to uh, the plugins website, but I think we're gonna, let's go ahead and hit on go to the Google console because that's where we need to go to create our own key. So um, it already um, took me to this page, but if, uh, if you clicked on it, um, it will take you to the login page, which you'll log in with your Google account. Everything in the Google developers console um, is configured or uh, built around projects. And this makes sense because uh, each of your websites or your web applications will have different needs or different APIs. So you can scope your, your um, API key just to those specific Google services that are needed for that website. So that way it stay, it, it keeps it organized and you also have a proper security, secure control on, on all of your API keys. What we'll do here is go ahead and create a project. Um, and there you go. There's a project. Later on, if you want to, you can go down here into the project management um, section of it. And um, you can rename your project. As you can see, I have a lot of projects. Uh, but um, uh, by default, it, it names your project my project. And you can go there and give it a more meaningful name. Uh, let's go ahead and create demo api key for google maps okay and then further down here are some other options so this section right here you can restrict the usage of your api key uh, to uh, several items that they provided one is um, http refers so what you do here is you can put your domain name uh, for, ex for the one example they have here is example.com. So if you had example.com and this API key was intended for only example.com, you can type in www.example.com or whatever your website domain name is, your website domain. And that way, uh, this API key will only be used or Google will only serve content via this API key to your website so for our purpose we'll just leave it blank the other option you can do if you have a static ip address for your web server um, where your website is hosted you can put the ip address of that uh, public ip address of that website here um, and then there's other options for android and ios uh, management uh, application restrictions so the other tab here is api restrictions so what you can also do here google allows you to restrict which services are uh, available for that API key. Again, this is a way to secure uh, the API from being misused. So <clears throat> you can do that. Either way, we're not gonna do anything and we'll go ahead and hit create. And voila, there's our API key. And then we'll go ahead and copy the key, come back here and paste it. And there you go. Your Google a uh, Maps API key has been successfully saved. Uh, this is something that uh, many, many, uh, probably 
you know, all um, WordPress sites or any websites that now use Google services is required to do. Well, with that, I wanted to keep this video short, as I had mentioned, and uh, for look out for some more tutorials um, uh, around WordPress. If you have any suggestions, list them down below. Thanks. Bye.